Hey folks, Boda Track here, and you're looking at a belly mower off of a older BX tractor. I have a 2015 BX25D, and uh, if you're my age, you know how easy it is to take it off, but not so much putting it back on. And I'm going to show you how this makes things much easier. I'll be right back. Okay, so before we dig in, obviously uh, before and after I remove anything, I go ahead and grease it up. I use this pneumatic grease gun with this lock and lube uh, end on it. And um, just before we go ahead and grease it, I'm going to clean that Zurich fitting off. And I'm going to throw this on here like so and give it a bang. I'll save you the agony of watching me do this everywhere. I'm going to go all the way around the tractor and hit all the Zurich fittings so that uh, everything's lubed up. And then we're going to get to the, the meat and potatoes of this video, putting this on. Okay, folks, I know I said that I was going to take you to the mounting of the belly mower to the tractor, but I really want to point this out. This is a pretty important piece. And if you take a look at, at this, um, this connects to the spline, as you know, by this thing coming back and locking in and i really wish that they had like a standard push button like they do on other pto shafts it would make things a lot easier but um, i do take a little bit of special care not only to lubricate the shaft but to get all the junk off of the face of this here and around the outside of it and then i pull this back and i use just a little bit of pb blaster so that this isn't so hard to move you know kind of work it in so it's not so hard to actuate once you're underneath the tractor it can be a real devil if you're trying to do that underneath the tractor so let's back the tractor in we'll take a measurement and show you how much uh space you have without the four x four and then how much space you do have with the four x four so we'll be back in just a second okay folks so i, I have the belly mower underneath the mower and i, I just want to kind of get this out real quick so that everybody's aware of where i'm going with this this video assumes that you know how to mount and dismount your belly mower so uh assuming that you already know that this is just how to do it a little bit easier and one of the most important parts of this is the fact that I'm on a polished concrete floor in a garage and I'm not out on uh, asphalt or uh, in the dirt trying to put this on. A polished concrete floor makes this super easy to slide that mower back and forth. So I'm going to put the camera down and get an angle so that you can see how much room we have underneath there and then we're going to go forward. I'll be right back. All right, so I set the camera down at this angle because I want you to see with the tractor sitting flat on the concrete floor that you really only have about seven and a half to eight inches of room to get inside there and work. And that's just not enough room, especially when you have to uh, do most of your work down here by the, the back of this bracket and also to try to make that coupler work. So uh, we're going to pull this back and put the tractor up on the four x four and you'll get to see what it looks like with the, uh, with the rear end lifted up. Be right back. Okay, so now the four x four is under the rear wheels. Uh, you have to make sure that your tractor is locked into four wheel drive and we're just gonna crawl up on top of that and uh, go nice and easy. Doesn't take too much. That's all there is to it. So now you're up on top. Make sure that your parking brake is on. And we'll get a yardstick under there and show you how much more space you have. Okay, so here we are, the yardstick's up against the machine. You can see that we're running 10, 10 and a half inches, and there's just so much more space to work around inside of there. Uh, everybody knows how to hook up a belly mower from here, so I'm not going to go through the semantics of doing it. I will just tell you the first thing that you want to do is to connect the PTO shaft and then go ahead and drop down the, uh, the lift arms for the belly mower, get those connected, and then finally put the front nose gear on the belly mower. And that's all there is to it. It takes a really crappy job and makes it so much easier to do. So thanks for watching. I really appreciate it. Hit the like button if you thought this video was pretty good. Subscribe if you haven't already. Good luck and Godspeed. Boat Attract, out.